you so much. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. It's Rayma Kriya here. Today we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful dress on your screen right now. This beautiful baby dress. So let's get right into the video. So I already cut out the fabric I'm going to use for the upper bodies. I think I have 13 inches here or so. That is on fold because I'm cutting the front and the back piece together. So here I'm measuring 1 inch allowance for my zipper because i'm going to add a zipper to it and i'm going which i'm going to fold into four yes like so and it's going to line on that line yes so after that i'm ruling a guideline for my starting point so i'm measuring if i still have my length intact so after that we start by measuring our shoulder measurement which is seven inches divide by two 3.5 plus half inch sewing allowance so after that i'm measuring my neck width which is 1.75 you could use less that is 1.5 so my shoulder slope i used half inch then i'm connecting it back to the neck width so after that measure your arm o measurements which is 3.5 then you use the ruler to mark it down then you give it a slight curve because it's an arm o it's not meant to be straight it's light curve like so so after that um, my bust measurement is four is 18 divided by 4 which is 4.5 plus 1 inch sewing allowance so to go over to the neck the neck depth for the back i use one inches then for the front i use two inches so i'm going to connect it back to the shoulder width with a curve like so so my half length half body is seven inches but I'm using 8 inch because I'm going to use half inch to stitch my shoulder then the other half inch to stitch to the down part of the dress that is 8 inches in total so whatever I use on my bust measurement that's what I use on my wrist measurement so I'm connecting the straight line so after that we are basically done with our half bodies so I'm going to cut it out while cutting out you first of all cut out your back neck because we don't want to have a deep neck <laughs> for the back and the front so after cutting everything out like so you remove the front piece and cut out the front neck so we'll go over to cut our lining now so for the lining you just place the, your main fabric on the material you want to use for your lining and cut it out exactly i use the same fabric for mine so my lining is l but my main fabric is x so the upper body is done so let's go over to the down part of the dress so for the down part I minus the full length from the half bodies then the remaining is what I used for the length of my down part of the down part of the dress rather so for the width I multiply my waist by 2 which gave me 40 inches so that is 20 inches I have like that on fold for the other piece I have um 3.5 inches by length length is 3.5 inches why the width the width don't have uh, any specific <laughs> calculation i just cut out so many long pieces i'm going to use for my gathers gathers can never be too much anyways <laughs> so let's go over to the sewing process so for the sewing process you're going to place right side to right side please of your fabric and your lining then you join the two shoulders together with half of an inch so i've already joined mine that's my main fabric and that is my lining so after that we are going to sew the neck we'll turn the neckline with each other because we want to have um, achieve a perfect finish so we'll place it right side to right side on each other like that um, making sure the shoulders are matching up is making making sure the shoulders are matching up then use a pin to secure it down so you're going to use a pin to secure it down like that after using pins to secure it down you sew it half of an inch round this is it i've sewn it and this is the inner after sewing it i trim the excess off so it can relax and use iron to iron it down so the next thing to do now is to turn the armholes with each other since it's not going to have sleeve 
it's a sleeveless dress so you're just going to carry it like so then you just turn it as i've done in the video make sure the two shoulders are matching up please if you don't understand feel free to rewind the video so you can see what i did exactly what i did then use half of an inch to sew it down this is it i've trimmed off excess excess allowance then i'll turn it so i want to show you how i did it with the other arm o so you can see it in case you didn't get it the first time so you just carry the two arm o like so as they are like that so you just turn it with each other you make sure the the right side to right side are facing each other this is it make sure the wrong side is facing you then use pins to secure it down then you sew with half inch allowance you trim off excess then you turn it this is how it is i ironed it already this is how relaxing it is so the next thing to do now is to shape is to shape our half bodies so we are shaping remember we added one inch sewing allowance so that's what we are using to shape so this is how i did it i just carry as it is like this you carry one piece that is the front piece then you carry the back piece as it as i've carried it like so then you just match it up together make sure the two right side are facing each other just match it together like so then you sew it with half of an inch you make sure the two arm are matching up so one will not be bigger than the other then use a pin to secure it down then go over to the sewing machine to sew please trim off excess allowance that's what makes it relax after ironing so after that i'm going to turn it and this is how it looks like this is the arm o everything is matching up look how neat it is look how neat it is look how neat and beautiful it is so the our upper body is ready so we'll go over to the down part of this dress so for the long strips that i cut out i already joined everything with half inch sewing allowance and i've ironed it so for the other part from the down part please make sure you aim your down part yes i didn't do it on the video but i end it so from the down part please from the down part i measured one inch then from there i measured another two inches then from there i measured another two inches that's where i'm going to be placing my gathers on so i've already gathered my fabric i actually end it but please i won't advise you to aim yours overlock it <laughs> overlock your own like i was very 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 tired <laughs> so you're going to open it then you're going to use pin to pin it down you can go over to your sewing machine to do it directly but i love using pins like i love using pins a lot you notice it in my videos so you're on that one inch line that i drew you're going to use pin to pin the first part down then you go over to the sewing machine and sew you continue the process so this is how it looks like please have i told you guys to subscribe please click on the subscribe button it's absolutely free so i'll bring over another stripe then i'll Place it on that second line, use pins to secure it down and I'll go over to my sewing machine to sew it and I'll repeat the same process for the third one as well. This is how it is, I've sewn the second layer and the third layer. So I'm going to gather this up part because I'm using my hand to gather like so. So this is how it is after gathering, this is how it looks. Guys, if you want to know how I made all these gathers like how it became very very easy for me go watch my video on how to make gathers i'll put the link in the description box please go and watch it so you make sure you join the upper bodies together then i've done that and i've already fixed my zipper this is how beautiful it's looking 
So I decided to attach a bow to it. Look how beautiful it's looking. Like I took it outside under the sun to get a clearer picture. Tell me guys this is not beautiful. Make sure you make this for your kit. Make sure you make it for your kit. And guys, I forgot to mention in the video the measurement that I use. I'll put it in the description box so you can see it. Thank you for watching. Bye.